Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Mylon with Fit Personal Training and Wellness, and today we have another great video for you. In today's video, I'm going to showcase a cardio based interval type routine. Um, with today's workout, I really want to focus on movements that are going to get the heart rate up, uh, maximize you know that caloric burn, um, really get you feeling like you left with a, a real challenging but um, doable workout. Now, with today's routine, these are all body weight exercises like a lot of our videos. Um, I have included one that's going to use the bench here, um, but if you don't have a bench, you can use any type of platform, but make sure it's stable. Now, when we get to this exercise using the bench, if you don't have anything to substitute, then feel free to just skip that movement um, in that exercise. Now, before we start our circuit, um, I want to go over two of my uh, favorite warm-ups. Uh, movements that will help get us loose before we begin this routine. Now, the first one is going to be a toe touch to a shoulder press, okay? Now, with this movement, it really helps get the hamstrings loose, but also get those shoulders stretched out as well. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 to start. So, I'll demonstrate. Now, you wanna make sure you have a nice good base with your feet about shoulder width apart. Now, in this base, you wanna, just like our walkouts, if you've seen any of our videos previously, um, it's the same starting point. Now, we're gonna bend, okay, at the hips, touching our toes. Now, if you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Go as far down as you can, but you feel that stretch. If you need to bend your knees a little more, that's fine as well, same with the walkouts. So, stretch down, touch your toes, Stand up nice and tall. We're gonna open up our chest and we're gonna press our shoulders straight up, okay? Touch the toes, stand up, and press, okay? Now, for a side view, touch the toes and press those shoulders down. Now you wanna feel the stretch as you come down, right in the back there on those hamstrings. And as you come up, you wanna make sure you're opening your chest. That chest open and get that press straight up. You're not bringing your hands together. We're just pressing straight up, okay? So let's get 10 of those to start. Touch the toes, straight up. And go nice and controlled. It's not a race when doing these. We want to make sure that we get those hamstrings loose, get those shoulders loose. Okay. Now, this next one is called the Cobra. It's a common stretch movement that they will do in yoga quite frequently. And it's really good to stretch out those abdominal muscles and that lower back. So, with the Cobra, what we wanna do is get down into our push-up position, but we're actually gonna go chest to the floor and tuck our elbows in. Okay, now, with this movement, we wanna keep our hips as flat to the ground as we can. And we wanna push up, extending our arms, stretching that lower back. You wanna look up, you don't wanna look down. Wanna get that neck stretched. Keeping your hips as flat as you can, you should feel that in your lower back. You should feel that stretch right in that abdominal area. So, as you come up, hold about five to 10 seconds, okay? Nice, good stretch. And we want to come right back down to reset. Okay, keeping those hips flat. Elbows are in. Looking up. Now, if you can't get that full extension without raising your hips off the floor, that's okay. What I want you to focus on is getting up as high as you can where you feel that stretch effectively without compromising too much of a raise of your hips off of the ground. Come back down. Right back up. 
It's important that you do look up slightly. Get that extension. Come back down. You should feel that stretch throughout the abdominal muscles, lower back stretch. And come right back down. Okay. Now, traditionally, you can do three sets of each. Okay. Three of the toe touches to the shoulder press and three sets of Cobras. Now, remember, with the toe touches, bend as much as you can. If you feel like you're straining your hamstrings, then that's when you want to bend a little bit. Don't force yourself to stay straight-legged to compromise the integrity of the exercise. Now, with the Cobras, same thing. Extend as much as you can with your elbows in while you keep your hips flat. But if you start to feel like you cannot extend any further, then that's where you want to stop. Okay? Don't push yourself too much. Work within your boundaries um, so you can get loose and warmed up. Okay? Now, to the actual circuit itself. I have five exercises I've put together, um, all cardio based, as I mentioned previously. You don't need any equipment besides the bench. And I wanted to incorporate this one today because it's one of my favorite exercises, a really effective one that I like to do. Um, so if you don't have a bench or some type of platform, you know, if you're outside doing this, um, you can use a street bench, a park bench, um, you know, a smaller wall, anything that you can step up with that has you know enough stability is fine but make sure again what you're using is stable enough to support you okay so for the first exercise it's going to be our old school traditional jumping jack um, everybody's done a jumping jack in one capacity or another and it's such an effective exercise to get that heart rate up which is why why i wanted to start with it okay so we all know a good old jumping jack okay whether you play any sport or even from gym class as a kid, okay? What you want to do is looks like you're making that snow angel. Now, when we do these, we want to make sure we're engaging that core, okay? That core is always tight, okay? And like I've said in my previous videos, if you've ever, you know, tuned in for any of those, I always say, pretend somebody's going to try to hit you in the stomach and you're always ready for it, okay? So again, Old school jumping jack, like so. Okay, that's gonna be number one. Number two is going to be our high knees. Now, again, another old school exercise, one everybody has done in some capacity. Um, if you ever played football or any type of um, you know, sport like that, that's a, a common one that they'll have you do. Now, with the high knee, you wanna keep that chest up, same thing, engage that core. You wanna drive those knees up, okay? Now, what I like to do is drive my hands, my arms, with my knees. Okay, that way you can really build up, you know, um, some momentum, but also it's almost like you're replicating an elliptical. You can get the best of both worlds. A little upper body movement, a little lower body. So, front view here. I wanna get those high knees up, drive them up. Same thing, engage that core, okay? That's the high knees. The jumping jacks, high knees. <clears throat> now this third one, I'm gonna use my ball here for our ab rotations. Now, <clears throat> you can substitute this for anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can use a water bottle, you can use a can of you know, beans, you can use a book, anything that's small enough that you can keep centered and rotate with will do. Okay, so with these, we're gonna come down onto the ground. Keep our chest up, back straight, okay? Now you can cross your feet if you want to. I find it more stable for me if I don't. Now, take the ball, keep that right in the center of your belly button, and you wanna rotate through. 
looking to each side as you go. Okay? Again, you do want to make sure you keep your neck aligned. You don't want to be looking down. Your chest is out, your shoulders are back, and you're engaging that core. This is a great oblique workout, but one that we're doing for time, so it does also get that heart rate up. So, to the side here, rotate through. Okay? That's our ab rotation. Now, for the one I was speaking about earlier, that's going to be using the bench, okay? This exercise is a step up. Now, we're gonna do one leg first, then we'll switch to the second leg. Each leg we're gonna do for 30 seconds. Now with the step up, again, you wanna make sure you have a stable type of structure to step up, step up upon. Now, keep your leg up. Now you wanna make sure you're centered when you step on whatever structure you're using. You don't wanna to be too close to the edge either way um, because it's not good for your ankle stability. So, nice, good. Step up. Now, again, shoulders back, engage that core. And what we wanna do is we wanna drive up, nice and tall, and then we wanna come back down, nice and controlled. We're keeping the leg up that we're stepping with, okay? So, step up, back down. Step up. Okay, then we'll switch legs. So we're gonna do each leg for 30 seconds. Step up, gauging that core. Okay. Now, if you don't have a bench or any type of structure to step upon, you can just do a regular squat as well. Um, in some of my other videos, I've you know, demonstrated how to properly do a squat. So a regular squat will look just like this. Down, okay? Now, if you're following along, we're gonna do 30 seconds each leg for the step up. So you can do 45 seconds, 30 seconds. You can do a full 60 seconds of squats. Um, but if you don't have something to step up on, um, you can either skip this one or you can incorporate the squat um, for 30, 45, or 60 seconds. Okay, now, the last one in this group is gonna be a tabletop plank with a leg extension. I've demonstrated the tabletop plank in a few of the other videos. We're gonna add another step to this. So, with the tabletop plank, you're on your hands and knees, okay? Now you can see my knees are off the ground. I start here and I lift up, so I'm at 90 degrees with my calves and my quads. Okay, now my arms are extended, my shoulders are back, and I'm engaging my core. I'm gonna take it a step further now. I'm gonna extend my leg, return, extend my leg. So you're gonna alternate through. And what you wanna do is make sure that you're staying level. When you extend that leg, you don't wanna get too high like this. So. Make sure you're keeping that integrity of the exercise. Extend your leg, alternate through, here, here. Nice and controlled, okay? This will be for 30 seconds as well. Okay, now to recap, we have our jumping jacks for 30 seconds, our high knees for 30 seconds, our ab rotations, I'm going to be using the ball. You can use anything to substitute. Our step ups, again, just find a surface you can step up on that is stable enough to do the movement. If you don't have anything, again, you can either skip this exercise or you can do your squats. And then our tabletop, which I just showed you with our leg extension. Okay, so we're going to go through all five exercises, then we'll take a little break then we're gonna go through two more times, so three total, okay? Now, with this, I want you to keep in mind, work within your boundaries. We wanna challenge ourselves, we wanna make sure we're getting a good workout, but at the end of the day, you wanna work at your pace. Make sure your form is correct, pause this video, rewind this video, um, if, whenever you need to, to make sure that you feel comfortable doing these exercises today, okay? 
So, I have my timer here on my watch. We're gonna start with our jumping jacks for 30 seconds, then our high knees, then our ab rotations, our step ups, and then our tabletops with the leg extension.
Okay, nice job. You guys did it. You finished three rounds. Now, at this point, I'm sure you're feeling tired, sweaty, but that's good. It means that you pushed yourself and you completed today's routine. Very proud of you guys. Um, as a way to show our appreciation, we're gonna be doing something pretty cool um, for this next week. Up until Monday at midnight, if you follow us on Instagram, um, if you don't, you know, already, you know, shoot us a follow, tag us, let us know that you're enjoying our videos and that you're following along each week and we'll send you out a custom fit tee um, as our appreciation. So again, our IG is at functional in home training underscore FIT. So pop on, follow us if you haven't already, um, tag us, send us a message. The first 10 that do that, will be getting uh, some fit swag sent their way. We'll DM you for your address, your name, and we'll give you a little shout out um, next video. So good job today, guys. And as always, if you ever have any questions, shoot us an email at info at inhome.fitness. It was a pleasure, as always, until next time.